the Octonauts and the Swashbuckling Swordfish. Wow, I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver, whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure he could ever hope to find. The sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now, I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the Octopod. A sunken ship! This could be it! Well done, Quasi! Keep us posted! I'm going after that sword, me hearties! Oh, these freezing waters are shivering me whiskers! What a glorious ship! The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine! Strange, the water just got warmer. This is definitely it! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me. That the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Aha! The last one! Stand aside, ya scurvy sword! Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. <laughs> Quasi! Look! Quasi! It's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! Outran him! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish! 
<laughs> of course I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it! Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone! <laughs> I don't want your food, matey! I want the sword of the pirate king! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us! We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast, slashing at our food, and defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. We'll see about that! <laughs> Come and get me! are so cold, I can barely feel them to get a good grip. Oh, uh, put them near our heads. So, twas you causing that warm water I felt before. You are magical. Uh, no, we are just regular salt fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now, let's get you out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Your sword is bruised. You need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the Pirate King. Huh? You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spit? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the Pirate King either. Come on, Quasi, don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm going to need your help. Yeah! Wow! If only me granddad could be here to see it! The Octonaut and the Long-Armed Squid As the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. Then, an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers 
fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> oh. The vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Hey, so, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? I, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whispery noises too. Just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. It's my duty to help no matter what. There's no such thing as sea ghosts. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? Not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity <laughs> flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy! I'm coming for you, matey! Hey, so! Hey, oh. so's medical bag. He would never leave this line about. And there's that noise again. Captain, I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain! I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you're here somewhere. 
What? Who's that? Show yourself. Wow! <laughs> gotcha this time. <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost. <laughs> Peso! Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe. Aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and... Listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out. Fast. This way. Hurry. Ah, the sea ghost strikes again. Let go. I've got you! I've got you! It's got me! This way! Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Yow! Was he? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um, Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long armed squid. A long armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye! Cheerio! Oh, oh, oh! Ah, my friends! Did you find it? Wait! You forgot your medical bag! Ah! Ghost! Oh, vampire! Ah! Squid! <laughs> <laughs> the Octonauts and the Manta Rays! That's it. Come on out. Dashy, oh. come in, Dashy. How's the photo assignment going? Well, I've taken some good shots. But if I want one of my photos on the cover of National Geographic, I need a really great shot. <gasps> Captain, I have to call you back. Manta rays. Incredible. Oh, I'm so sorry.
sorry for crashing into you like that. I just... Ouch! Are you all right? No! I, I think I scratched my fin. Ow! Sorry about Muriel here. For a manta ray, she's not very good at leaping. For a manta ray, she's not very good at anything. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Don't mind them. They're just my remora fish. Most of us manta rays have them. They ride around me everywhere. Oh! You better come with me, Muriel. I know just the person who can make your fin feel better. Please do make her better, Doctor. Muriel may be clumsy, but she is our friend. Don't worry, Muriel. Your fin just needs a little slime. Slime? What do you need slime for? Manta Ray's skin is protected by a layer of slime. Some of Muriel's got scratched off when she crashed into Dashi. There. Good as new. Thanks. Now, uh, got to go. I need to catch up with the other Manta Rays. They know the way. The way? The way to what? Every so often, we Manta Rays have a big feast in a special place. The secret Manta Ray feeding ground. I reckon nobody's ever photographed that before. How do we get there, Muriel? Um... <laughs> if you find out, be sure to tell Muriel. It's so secret, even she doesn't know where it is. Uh, I guess you could say I've never actually been there, myself, personally. <laughs> but I have to get there soon or I'll miss the big feast. In that case, we'd better help you find it. Dashi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay! <laughs> Octonauts, our mission is to help Muriel find the secret manta ray feeding ground. Muriel, do you have any idea where it may be? Well, there is an old manta ray rhyme about it. Uh, follow the giant swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring. Huh? Hmm. Dashi, let's see the map. Ah, I don't see any rivers or swirling things on the map. Maybe we're looking at the wrong map. Let's check the storm tracker. There! That storm looks like a giant swirling thing. And we're going to follow it. Quasi, peso, dashi, into the guppe. We'd better hurry. The big feast doesn't last long. One swirling storm straight ahead. Oh, there it is! The swirling thing! Come along, everyone! Let's go! Whoa! Muriel! We've got to tow her out somehow. Quasi, can you? I'm coming for you, Muriel! Wait! Don't touch her! You'll scratch off her slime. You need to make your paws soft and slimy first. I slime gloves! You take one, I'll take the other. <laughs> Let's go, Captain! Everyone, hang on! The engines have shut down! How will we... Oh, oh, baby, that tickles! Woohoo! Captain, the waves are filling her things like a giant sail! Then we'd better sail this ship to safety! Grab a rope, Dashi! Who left, Captain? I knew you would make such a good sail, Muriel. I think we finally found something you're good at. Oh, is everyone okay? We're fine, Captain. But where are we? That storm pulled us pretty far out to sea. There's nothing around for miles. Oh no, we're lost. <gasps> now we'll never find the secret feeding ground. Uh, Muriel, what's that you're eating? Oh, just some krill. It's what we mantas eat. There'll be tons of krill at the big feast. Something's pulling the krill away. It could be a clue. Everyone, follow those krill. We'll have to come back for the cup A later. Look! They're being sucked into that current. Of course. A current is like a river of fast-moving water in the ocean. Follow the great big swirling thing, then ride the river to the secret ring! This must be it! 
What are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> Look, more krill! We must be getting close. Aye, we are getting close to that giant breed! Let the deep flippers! The current to a stop just went out of! We're going to crash! Two crashes in one day. That's a new record, Muriel. There's something on the other side. Everyone, sideways formation! <laughs> Whiskers, a hidden lagoon. The reef makes a ring all around it. Follow the river to the secret ring. That means this must be it. The secret manta ray feeding ground. But I don't see any manta rays. The big feast must be over. Or maybe it's just beginning. How we manage to raise each when we all get together. Now these are some good shots. Ugh. My camera. Yeah, it's going too fast. Here, hop on, chaps. Now let's get that camera. <laughs> Almost have it. Oh. Where you're going. Oh dear, leave it to Muriel. This is starting to get a little rough. We need to hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dashi, are you okay? I'm fine. But we have to help the others. What about your camera? I'll leave it. My friends come first. Uh, uh, Now for Quasi and Peso. Yeah. Yow. Peso, Quasi, grab on. <laughs> grab on? Grab on to what? Ah! Oh. Oh. Should have seen that coming. Now let's get out of here. The only way out is up. Muriel, we have to leap over the reef. Uh, I'm not very good at leaping. We'll help you. First, you've got to dive down to build up speed. Okay, here goes. Ooh. Now, up to the surface, fast. <laughs> Muriel, what's the matter? I just thought we might like a picture or two. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've got an idea for a great one. Here we go. Done, Muriel. I guess I'm not so bad at leaving after all. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, chaps. Now that's a photo fit for the cover of National Geographic. <laughs> oh, thanks, Muriel. Did you get Muriel's good side? That's the side I'm on. No, that's the side I'm on. The Octonauts and the Mimic Octopus. <laughs> There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema Pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. Oh, there we go. We can't keep up with them, Captain. Can't Peso give them some medicine for their Vegema Pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red Audi? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemal's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The Vegemals are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> <sighs> We're on our way. 
Excuse me, I... Hey, clear off. This here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Aye, and that's where it's there. No trespassing. <gasps> Careful, Piso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the vegetables medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even Moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. <gasps> what is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A bandit soul. You're lucky I spotted it, matey. Bandit souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a bandit soul? <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend, but I am no bandit soul. <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent. Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one. Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two. Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonauts and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you'd ask it for it. Okay, so, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. Aha! You'll have to be faster than that, matey! Ah. Ah! Lionfish! Yeah! Ah! 
<laughs> Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can keep this up! Was he? In here! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> and you'll stand there if you know it's good for you! He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Ah! No! Not sea snakes! Yes! We are one, two, three sea snakes! Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out! Hiss! 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 Uh, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah! I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five-star performance. <gasps> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. Yeah, but it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Yeah. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. <laughs> Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Hey, so grab on. Phew. Nice work in there, Peso. Was he? Mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're... Sea snakes! Yow! Pop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>